Hi, this is Scott with 4D Tech. Today we are in a 2019 and newer body style Ford Mustang that came equipped with the four inch non-touch screen. We will be showing you how to perform the four inch to sync three eight inch conversion from 4D Tech in this vehicle. To perform the conversion, you'll need a few basic tools. Some plastic dash removal tools, a seven millimeter nut driver, and some sort of small pick tool or small flat blade screwdriver. Let's get started. First, we will need to remove this upper piece of trim panel that goes across the top of the glove box all the way over here across the top of the radio bezel to get to the two top screws of the radio bezel. We will start with dropping this small panel that is to the right of the steering column directly underneath that upper panel. We'll get in there with one of our plastic dash removal tools and unsnap it and just let it hang down. It just overlaps that panel. Next, we will move around to the other side of the vehicle. From this side, we'll need to remove this lower piece of trim next to the glove box first. We'll lower the glove box, insert one of our dash tools, and pry to release the clips and set that aside. Next, we need to pull off this upper trim we can do this with a combination of using our fingers and the dash tool to release the trim all the way across. These clips tend to be pretty tight on the Mustangs and every once in a while a clip might come off the panel and get left behind in the opening or fall and you'll, you'll just have to retrieve those clips and put them back on the panel before you put it back on later. So we'll start at the end here and begin to release the clips. And we'll continue across with the panel here. And once the panel is removed, you'll want to set it out of the way for later. Next, we will be removing this upper piece of the center console and sliding it back to gain access to fasteners up front here. You'll want to open the lid and then remove these side panels by pulling them off and releasing the clips. There's a duplicate of that side panel on this side that comes off as well. There are two seven millimeter screws here and here and the same on the other side for a total of four that need to come out. With those four screws out, we need to release this panel upwards. We'll start right at the back here at the edges of the compartment from inside the compartment and start releasing the fasteners. Once you get those released, this will come pretty loose. It helps if you set the parking brake. We'll turn on the ignition and slide the shifter back. Once you've done that, there's two clips that face forward like this and you just kind of want to wiggle and pull back till they release.
Next, we need to remove this little rubber piece from this tray and take out the two seven millimeter screws that point downward. Once those two seven millimeter screws are out, this tray lifts up and out of the way. We can leave the shifter out of park and shift it backwards to keep this panel out of our way. And then you can shut off the ignition for now. It will chime for a little bit saying your transmission is not in park, but as long as you have the driver's door closed, that chime will discontinue. Next, we need to remove the radio bezel trim to gain access to the screen. First, there is a cover plate here between the USB outlet and the 12 volt outlet. and you need to get underneath that plate and pry it forward and set it out of the way. That reveals two seven millimeter screws at the bottom here underneath the lip that we will remove along with the two seven millimeter screws at the top. With those screws removed, we'll grab a hold of the bezel and pull it towards us to release the clips. It may be difficult to see the connectors from this view, but I'll describe it the best that I can. There is a gray connector here for the cigarette lighter jack, and you push in on the clip that's facing the passenger side and unplug that. The two main black connectors on the back of the bezel here. This one you push the tab on the top and unplug it. This one has a tab underneath that you push up on to unplug. And then lastly, this USB jack here. Um, the th easiest thing i found, you have to release the tab below and on top at the same time for it to slide out. Um, almost easier in tools is to just grab those tabs with your fingertips. separate them and the USB cable slides out. We will need to retrieve this lighter jack to move it to the new bezel. To retrieve the lighter jack, there's two little tiny black tabs that you'll see inside of here and you just push in on them while pushing out on the lighter jack. Once you push in on them, you'll be able to push the jack out the front and then retrieve the cover plate as well and set those aside for later. The four inch bezel will no longer be needed. Next, we need to remove the screen assembly from the dash by taking out these four seven millimeter screws. These screws are shaped just slightly different than the other ones. If you mix them up, it doesn't make a big difference, but if you wanna stay consistent, then just set these four screws in a different location. With the four screws removed, we'll pull the screen and module assembly out. This blue connector here will have a tab. It'll either be facing the heat sink or facing down, depending. And you'll squeeze that tab and unplug that connector. This black connector here has a tab on the top at the back edge. You squeeze that and unplug it. The 54 pin lever lock connector, there's a little release where my finger is there and you push this gray lever all the way till it releases the connector and leave that lever open. We'll take this module and screen and set it aside. Now we'll bring in the Sync 3 screen and module with the Mustang brackets supplied by 4D Tech in the kit. 
This assembly comes pre-programmed to your vehicle's exact functions using the VIN number you supply to check out. To install this, we'll take the 54 pin connector, slide it in, and you'll push it in until you see the lever start to move, and then use the lever to draw the connector the rest of the way in until it clicks. The black USB cable, plug back into the USB port on the module. Some modules might have a light gray connector too. You're gonna to wanna to use the black connector. It won't even plug into the light gray connector. So don't worry about making that mistake. And then the blue antenna connector plugs into the port here. On our module, that clip will be facing down. If it doesn't go on that way, then you just wanna rotate it 90 degrees like the one that came out so the clip is facing the heat sink. Now we'll take this assembly, set it in the opening with the alignment pins lining up, and we'll replace the four screws that we took out earlier. With the screen and module installed in the dash, next we will put the new 8 inch opening bezel in supplied by 4D Tech. The 8 inch bezel does have automatic climate controls on it. This kit will convert your vehicle to a single zone automatic, meaning it will have the temperature set automatic climate controls, but it'll be for the entire vehicle. If you try and split driver passenger, it just won't do anything because the four inch Mustang lacks the sensors and damper doors in order for dual zone to work. So you gain single zone climate controls. You also see that appear on the screen. You convert to the toggle switches. These three function the same as the push buttons from your bezel. The mode switch, because the four inch equipped Mustangs don't have that mode switch, that will do nothing. Um, so next we will install this bezel. We'll reconnect things the same way that they came out. So we'll take that USB cable that we unplugged, slide it back in until it clicks. The right angle plug goes towards the driver's side with the wire exit going towards the driver's side. Push that in until it clicks. The other wider connector, clip facing up, goes in until it clicks. We will have to put the new 12 volt jack in. What I like to do is actually we'll just push the connector through for now and we'll load that from the front after we've put the bezel in. You'll wanna make sure before you slide the bezel in that you've tucked the wiring in the appropriate holes where they gotta back into. If you feel like the bezel isn't going on right, you probably have one of those harnesses stuck. Just slide it back out and realign those wires. If everything's aligned, the bezel will just snap right back in and the screw holes will all line up. We'll take our lighter jack, make sure you slide the cover over the connector first. The little door on the lighter jack faces towards the passenger side. And then take the lighter jack itself, plug that in, and you'll just rotate it till it lines up with the keying. And push that in till it clicks. Next, we need to replace the four screws we took out earlier, two on the top and two on the bottom. With the four screws back in place, we'll take this small cover plate and put it back in the center here. Um, you'll see there's little grid lines there. You'll just wanna make sure those lines line off. It won't snap in upside down. Push that till it snaps in. Next, we need to reassemble the center console that we slid back earlier. We'll start with putting this small tray back in place up here. You may have to pull this back a little as it probably rested forward. You'll slide this in. There's two pins in there that actually align right into holes.
and then we need to replace the two seven millimeter screws in that tray. And we'll just replace the rubber insert into the tray as well. Now that that's back in place, we need to slide this forward. As you slide it forward, it'll click back into those two clips that came out that pointed backwards earlier. If it's properly forward, you'll be able to easily push everything back down to clip it back in all the way back to the center console opening. Next, we need to replace the four seven millimeter screws we took out earlier, the two on each side. Once you have those screws back in place, we'll then clip these panels back in on each side. Next, we will need to reinstall the upper trim panel that we took out earlier. You simply need to take that trim panel and set it in place and just snap it in all the way across. When you have this end in, you can replace this panel as well that you dropped down earlier. On this side, we'll continue to just snap the panel in all the way across, drop down the glove box, and remember to return this panel back in as well. Next, we will need to run the can opener flash programmer that comes with the four inch to eight inch conversion. The system itself comes pre-programmed from 4D Tech to your specific vehicle using your supplied VIN number. That is done at our programming location before the equipment is shipped. This programmer makes changes to the vehicle to then accept our system. To run this programmer, you will first have to turn on the ignition. And then we'll take the programmer and we need to plug it into the diagnostic port underneath the driver's side of the dash. On the Mustang, this is to the far left above the kick panel. We'll push it in firmly and watch the lighting on it. You'll hear the vehicle chime and the light will blink blue for a while. Once the light turns green, the programming is complete and the can opener flash programmer can be removed and set aside. It does not need to get left in the vehicle. If you did not already do so earlier, make sure you put the shifter back in park now that we're done. Now that the installation is complete, we'll fire up the system and let the new SYNC 3 system load up. This system is available in both a non-navigation and Ford navigation equipped SYNC 3 from 4D Tech. Both systems are capable of doing mapping on the screen through Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The navigation version includes onboard Ford mapping as well.
The system that we installed in here does have the onboard Ford mapping, so you do see that the maps are loaded. And we have our navigation system there. You also see that we gained the automatic climate controls. As explained earlier, you will have auto controls here, and you can set the temp, just you will not be able to use the dual function and just the temp separately on the passenger side as those sensors and damper doors do not exist in the 4-inch model. Now you see how to install the 4-inch to 8-inch custom programmed plug and play SYNC 3 system from 4D Tech in the 2019 and newer Mustang. Thank you for checking out our video. I'm Scott with 4D Tech.